isn't recording. Okay, so now we can observe. So we need to download for the uh, Blazy meter means yesterday I sent uh, one URL, right? Everyone got it, that one in your groups I sent. So go to that uh, Blazy meter official website. Blazimeter download or anything can type it and after that you can go to this Blazimeter continuous testing and we need to add for the extension file. So now Yeah, this is this. This is our Blazimeter continuous testing platform. You need to click on this. Okay. So everyone able to see right how to we can download this. So we need to search this. You can observe just to download for the Blazimeter. After that, you need to go to the this is the Blazimeter, the continuous testing platform. You need to click on this. And after that, we need to add the extension file already is i already added so that is why it is showing for the so i will remove also okay no problem we'll see again just i'm removing now you can observe after that we can open it will be look like this you need to add chrome it will ask just you can click on this and it is asking for the add extension because we are adding for the just extension only so you can click on extension see it is a uh, now you can observe. Now we are able to see the here Blazy meter. You can click on extensions and we are able to see that this is the Blazy meter. Just you can click on this. And after that, you want to record this script, it means you can click on start recording. And as same to the who are not registered, right? You can go to here, you can click on this, and it is asking for the you need to registration point of view. It will ask for the details like your first name, last name, phone number, some detail it will ask. And if you want to miss, we can do for that also. Okay, maybe who are not registered, you are able to see the like this. Uh, you can observe here already I registered. So that is why my name is showing. So here it is asking for the sign in or as same to the it is asked for the uh sign out uh, and sign up it will ask. So you need to select for the anything is fine. So now we can go to the uh, Blazimeter extension. Click on this Blazimeter. And after that, we need to start recording the test. Enter the name of the test. If you want, miss, you can enter. Uh, after that, we can observe. Uh, we have the, some advanced options also will be there. So filter options, like if you want to filter HTTP or HTTPS means we need to give for the what all the pattern we need. We need to that one user agent will be current browser, nothing but which browser we are using you need to select as a current browser. And after that, we can see here uh, disable for the browser cache and record adjust to request also. And uh, we can see the randomized record thing time also because we want to when you are recording the script with the think time also, because why we are giving think time, nothing but a delay between the actions. As a manually, what will happen? See, for example, we are uh, doing for the some application, like we are entering for the www.google.com, I enter. And after that, again, I am searching for the some blazy meter. So in between, after enter for the google.com, in between, uh, again, I'm entering for this uh, blazy meter. Uh, download is there right some delay it is happen for the as a real time instrument also based on for the user to user will be some delay will happen so that delay we can call it as a think time so again we can go to the here and in the advanced settings so that is why you need to give for the each and every action as a uh, random is think time uh, because we are giving for the to record time automatically you can select for the random is think time and after that we can see the uh, we have the request to record and we are recording for the chromo and uh, we can uh, click so these all options will be you want to check means you can check so after this everything is uh, fine then we need to start recording so we need to click on this start recording button Okay, 
So now we can record for the some zero bank account, right? So that is the just our understanding point of view. Otherwise, we have the some different URLs also will be there. So www dot uh, some blazy demo or uh, We have this is the one website so this is also we can use for our recording point of also we can use this so now this is url we can record okay now you can go to the extension click on that extension okay and after that start recording okay then now you need to give for the step name what we are doing launch the url launch url so after that you can go to here and you can give for the url some blazy.com i give it uh, some blazy demo.com i give it so after that so this is the window open after that i want to select for the departure city area city so i am giving for the uh, like select this uh, find flight we can do find flight and after that you can choose for the any one of city and click on the find flights so after that we want to choose the flight so you can observe based on that only you can choose for these are the different flights you can choose for the any one of the flight choose flight and add step first you need to add after that you need to select for the this business flow and after that you need to enter the details like enter uh, personal details enter details and after that you need to give for the names You can give for the uh, pin code and the credit card number and after that name of the credit card John Don and after that you are doing for the enter details you are not data okay click on enter details then purchase flight if you want you can click on this see thank you for purchase ticket so your recording is completed then you can stop recording this is the stop recording button yeah, recording so, and test plan kind of recording in the test plan it is coming from the script recording part it's a fifth part script recording and announcements okay okay then you can open this one and you can go to the edit can click on edit and here you can observe we have the this or the request will be recorded so this request you want to convert as a jmx file why we are exporting as a jmx file means if you want to like as a jmeter what is the extension file jmeter file means jmx so that is why you need to download means you can just click on this and it will automatically it is downloaded for your file it will be exporting as a jmx file it automatically is downloaded see this is the recorded because we are not given any name so that is why it automatically recorded this file is generated now we want to open this file means you can go to the file and now you can observe we will do for the new one okay see i have not added anything in the test plan plan plane will be there then i am go to the open and now we are now recorded this is the our thing so you can select this and click on open see now everything will be automatically came only we are selected test plan will be there in the test plan this all things will be header files these things in the thread group we are able to see the find flight and choose flight and enter details so everything will be recorded so this is the way we need to record for the using for the blazy meter so everyone is clear yes yeah so 
thank you now we'll go with the um, like in um, j meter we have the testing elements we have testing elements so we have the j meter testing elements will be there one is the test plan test plan so what is the test plan means so this is the test plan nothing but so you want to give for the some uh, template you want to generate after the test plan you need to give for the thread group or if you want to add for the http header request yeah. these all things we can include yeah. in the sorry please unmute yourself who tried okay so now that is the test plan in the test plan after that we are adding for the what we are adding second point is the thread group thread group so how to we are adding see for example now we'll open for the plain one so uh, new one okay i don't say and see now this is the test plan in the under test plan i want to add for the thread group how to we can add means click on that add thread group this is the thread group you can add for the thread group so what is the thread group nothing but so thread group nothing but we want to how many number of virtual user point we want to execute that test based on for the your scenario like how many number of users we want to execute the test and what is the ramp up time and what is the uh, like specific the duration and sometimes will be uh, delay also if you want miss we can give so actually you are given that start the test now but now 723 is the time so you want to the test will be some delay need means you need to give for the five second miss you can give for the five second here this is the delay and this is nothing but what is this is nothing but you need to how much duration you want to execute the test so that is the thread group so in the thread group already we discussed this all things is a continue means uh, as a when is a occur error like error error uh, like occur then you want to stop the test or if you want continue means you need to maximum we need to give for the continue only because so if you give this one then stop test means what will happen enter your test will be stopped your test is not went until the end so that is why maximum we need select for the continue only so these are the option thread group so in the thread group we can add for the recording controller next two point will be recording controller recording controller and transaction controller so what is the recording controller nothing but see we are recording the script so that script where you want to keep like so after thread group you need to add for the recording controller so you need to click on the thread group add in that you can observe we need to add for the what we need to add hello in the controller, controller. yeah in the logic controller we can the see controller. for the transaction controller we can see and as same to the we can able to see the recording controller also see this is the recording controller so in the logic controller also one of the our testing element in the logic controller you can see the what are the things will be there recording controller will be there random controller will be there and we have the interval controller will be there maximum we can use for the transaction controller interval controller it is a very useful that so you can just click on this and you can click on the recording controller see it is added for the recording controller so after that recording controller is completed then you want to test execution you need so that is the one more element that is the and one more i miss okay that is also sampler 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 what is the sampler nothing but it is a protocol like what type of protocols it will be you want to add like it is a http or http 
https okay so based on that we have the different protocol like web services and ftp server and database testing also so means as a sampler nothing but it's a protocol so which protocol you want to select so you need to select for that is the sampler so now we can see the real term here and if you want to add sampler means you can click on thread group add and you can observe this is the sampler in the sampler we are able to see the all things http request means that is the web protocol maybe you want for the see the ftp request will be there and jdbc request so this is the jdbc request nothing but what is that means so maybe you want test any database testing means you need to click on that and you need to add for the JDBC sampler. So we have that bean cell sampler will be there. So we have different type of samplers will be there. Debugging sampler will be there. Debug sampler nothing but you want to debug the scenario. Like you want to what are the say for example you did for the correlation parameterization. So those values successfully captured or not you want to see means we can add for the debug sampler. So this is the sampler. So everyone is clear sampler. So again, we can go to the sampler after sampler is completed. We can see the here only we can see logic controller and you can observe this is the preprocessor and post processor we have. So what is the preprocessor? Nothing but you want to add for the number of users because as a perform testing means what is the perform testing we want to execute with the multiple user test so multiple user you need to add means you need to do for the parameterization so where we can do means that is the pre-processor you can select this and click on user parameter name you can click on this and here you need to add for the parameter names so now you can click on add variable and give it as a name of the variable yes, sir for example you are doing for the user name and you can give for the some value of the username kira so maybe you are doing for the another variable you can add you can click on this and you can give for the password and you can give for the password some kira 123 so we can give for the data like this so how much data we want we need to give for this is the pre-processor you can go to the thread group and click on this and we can see the pre-processor in the pre-processor we have the uh, depends on the protocol we can select user parameter maybe you are doing for the any jdbc jdbc nothing but already i told right database testing point of you want to add anything means jdbc pre-processor you can add so that is the pre-processor so going to the next you can observe post processor what is the post processor nothing but so what are the dynamic values generating our script right you are doing for the correlation so to handle the dynamic value where we can do means using for the post processor you can do like you can observe here you can select for the post processor see this is the boundary extractor and the regular expression extractor and json extractor so we have different type of pre post processor will be there so this is the difference from the pre-processor and post-processor. So again, after that, we are able to see the assertion. What is the assertion? Assertion, nothing but it is a validation point. It is a checkpoint. So particular pace you are getting for the valid response or not, you want to observe means we need to give for the validation point as a assertion. So we have the different type of assertion. Response assertion, size assertion, and duration assertion and you can select anything see for example you can select as a response suggestion so after select this right you can observe this this is the field test you want to add any text response means you can select this if you want to add for any response code means you can select see for example you are selected as a text response so you can click on add and you can give for the so for example this home page some home is there for the after response you are getting for this home so you give this one means what will happen is this text will be there in the particular request your particular request will be passed otherwise it is a fail it is failing means maybe it is a you are not handling some dynamic value so otherwise some issues will be there so you need to identify that things so this is a validation point maybe sometimes we have the different things also this is a text maybe you want to add for the response code 
So response code nothing but what are the response codes we have? Uh, 200 and uh, this all things will be there, right? 200, 100, this all things will be there. So you can go here. You know the response codes. 100, 200, and 300, and 400, and 500. So what is the 100? 100 nothing but you are sending the request <laughs> successfully only. Means only we are sending the request only successfully, but you are not get the response. So just 100 nothing but you are getting a 100 response maybe in our test means. What is that 100 response code means? You are just sending the request only. 200 means, what is the 200 means? You are sending the request and you are getting for the response. That is the 200. Successfully request and response, we can call it as a 200. So you are successfully, you did any test or anything means you would get for the 200 code. Okay. So after that, you can observe this is the 200, this is the 300. Redirect response. Actually, I need to send for the someone. Actually, I want to send message to Sravanti, but it is went for the Venkat. Means it is the re redirected. Actually, I want to send for the seventy, but it's redirected to the someone. So is same to here also. What will happen is you are sending for the some server, but it is a re redirecting to the other server. So that is the three hundred and four hundred. Nothing but it's a invalid request. So you did some mistakes. So this is the four hundred. Nothing but our issue only. Maybe you are did for the some test data issue. In the request itself, it's the wrong. So you can get for the 400 issue. And final will be 500 error. So what is the 500? Nothing but it oh. is internal server error. Means you are unable to open that server. Means that is the issue with the application side only. So these codes will be, so that is why successful request means what we need to do, 200 you need to give. So then it is validated. Maybe the particular request is 200. Then it is validate and your script will be passed. Otherwise, it is uh, went for the uh, 300 or 400, 500 means it is throw an assertion error. Okay. So next thing will be on the thread group. We are seeing for the assertions. So we have the assertions, response assertions, and as same to the duration and as same to the size assertions will be there. Okay, and uh, next we'll go with the timer. So what is the timer means? It's a thing time. So we need to give for the time will be different things will be there. Constant timer means you need to give for the constantly like 5 seconds, 20 seconds. Unified random timer means it will come for the randomly like 10 to 20 or 0 to 10. So or you want to give for the 20 to 30. So it's a random it pick for the random that is the random thing time and uh, we can observe we have the different things will be there but what we need to use those only i'm telling because we can, i can tell for this all things your mind will be black so just i'm explaining for the constant and uniform okay and after that test to prog element and config element so this config element also what is the use of this config element maybe you want to doing for the parameterization you need to keep for the data more data in the file so you need to give for the csc data set nothing but you need to prepare for the csc data set like you know you need to like prepare one excel sheet you can click on browse and you can import it so then how much data you can keep there you can keep that is the that is the in config element and as simple we have different things will be there we have counter will be there and jdbc connection configuration will be there and uh, we have config element will be there tcp will be there so we have user defined variable also will be there so you can observe uh, we are not added in the test plan anything but we are able to see this all things in the config element http header manager http cookie manager http cache manager http request details so these are all things we are able to see in the config element. So this all things will be in config element. Going to the listener. So what is the listener? Nothing but you want to see the results. Means you need to add for the view results tree. So this is the view results tree. During the test, you need to monitor for this here. 
what is the request you got, what is the response you got, we are able to see here. And we have the different things of sample uh, uh, listeners will be there. So summary report, aggregate report, and aggregate graphs, we want to see the graphs also, we are able to see the graphs also. So, and the graph results. So these all things you want to miss, you can give for the generate summary results. We need to add these all things. Just you can click on this and you can add. Then once you can execution started, you are able to see the results here. So these solve the all testing elements in the J meter. Very important for this. What is the test plan, thread group, and what is the sampler? Sampler nothing but it's a protocol, it's a client server communication. And what is the logic controller? So logic controller nothing but we have the recording controller and transaction controller. What is the pre-processor? What is the post-processor? And what are the assertions? And what is the timer? What is the config element? And what is the listeners? So these all things you are well, then you are good for the J meter point of view. So these all things we can use in our script. So anyone any doubt regarding this? I think everyone good, right? So, sir, <laughs> sir, yes. Hello, sir. Did you record this today? Mostly, chala record it, na sir. Are you are you exposed here under that, sir? Through the through your recording in the J meter or DC meter? J meter. Yeah, J meter. J -meter already, sir. already I told right. When you record the script J meter, obviously it will come from junk data. So that is why I give it for one more. Uh, recording option is the blazy meter. Okay. J meter lo recording yes, and where a browser will open yes, only data is there. Yes, so you, so maybe there. what things you need to do, right? When you are recording the J meter, means you need to close all browsers. Only you need to open for the one browser and one J meter. You need to close all applications. Then you can record. Then at that time, you didn't get more junk data. Okay. Okay, sir. So, uh, for everyone is clear for today class. So I told everything okay. I covered okay. here, all elements, but everything is your hand. You need to. Uh, I will send today one material also everyone in the group. Okay, you can go through that material. What is the thread group? What is the recording controller? What is the post processor? Pre processor? What is the testing element, what is the config element, what is the listeners. So this all things you need to read. So everything is in our hand. So you need to carefully read and you need to understand that things. And tomorrow onwards, we'll start for the scripting. We can record the script and after that we can do for the scripting announcements. We can use for the each and every option. Like in thread group, we can open this, right? Sampler, we can select. And logic controller also what we need. Pre-processor, post-processor, assertions, timer and config element, listener. So everything we can use and we can do for the scripting tomorrow onwards. So okay. everyone clear? Yeah. Sorry? Which one? Test plan and number of users or ramp up time no, 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 not, not test plan. Thread group is number of users, duration, these things. Okay. Test plan, nothing but it's a planning. Actually, in the test plan contains these all things will be we need. So you need to planning something okay, means plan what you need to do. Start. See, for example, you, you are planning, but in your uh, home, your five numbers will be there. But everyone will plan to go to the, so for example, you are uh, plan to the, you need to go somewhere. So you only plan, like we need to go to these things. So that everything we can consider as a test plan. After that, these all things will be chilled, thread, and recording controller, view results, these all things. Okay. So thank you for joining everyone. We'll meet for tomorrow also, same time. We'll continue our classes. Okay. Thank you. Bye, everyone.